A Rock is Lively by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. A rock is lively, bubbling like a pot of soup deep beneath the earth's crust, liquid, molten, boiling. Depending on what type of rock it is, a rock melts at temperatures between 1,300 and 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, 700 and 1,300 degrees Celsius. A rock is mixed up. All rocks are made of a mixture of ingredients called minerals, just as a batter of flour, butter, and sugar make a cookie, a batter of minerals makes a rock. The recipe for a rock might include minerals like aluminum, copper, diamond, fluorite, gold, gypsum, lead, nickel, platinum, quartz, silver, sulfur, tin, topaz, and turquoise. Lapis lazuli. Mix the mineral lazurite with a dash of sodalite and a pinch of both calcite and pyrite. Heat within the earth until a brilliant blue. A rock is galactic. Outer space is a shower of rocky fireworks. Meteoroids are rocks that range in size from a grain of sand to a basketball. They become meteors, or shooting stars, when they streak through Earth's atmosphere and vaporize. Sometimes, pieces of the meteor aren't vaporized and land on Earth's surface. These are called meteorites. Comets are balls of rock and ice, sometimes called dirty snowballs that are heated by the sun and soar through space, leaving glowing ribbons of dust behind them. Asteroids are gigantic chunks of rocks and metal. They can weigh millions of tons. The largest known asteroid is 650 miles, 1,050 kilometers in diameter. It would take a person 352 hours, or nearly 15 days, to walk around it. A rock is old. The oldest known rocks on Earth were formed billions of years before the sky turned from green to blue, before dinosaurs thundered across the Earth, before humans learned how to make fire. The oldest rocks ever found are nearly 4.5 billion years old. A rock is huge and tiny, considered by many to be the world's largest rock Australia's Mount Augustus is a sandstone rock with an elevation or height of 3,628 feet, 1,106 meters above sea level, about 1,000 feet, 305 meters higher than the world's tallest skyscraper. The carpets of sand on the floors and shores of oceans, lakes, and rivers come from larger rocks that have been ground through weathering into tiny grains. A rock is helpful. Some birds swallow stones to help them digest food. As the muscles and the gizzards of their stomachs move, food is chewed, crushed by rocks, in the same way humans use teeth to break down food. Crocodiles, seals, and sea lions also ingest rocks. The extra weight, or ballast, helps them dive deeper and stay steady in water. Sea otters lie on their backs and use rocks to crack open shells on their stomachs. Seagulls drop mollusks onto rocks to break apart their shells. Chimpanzees and crows crack the hard shells of nuts on rocks. A rock is surprising. 
Some rocks need to be broken open to reveal their beauty. Geodes, round, hollow rocks, found mostly in deserts or beds of volcanic ash, hide sparkly crystals. The crystals were once liquids, but trapped inside rock for thousands of years, they changed into jewels of many colors. Agates, too, with their colorful layers created by liquid deposits, are often found in volcanic rock. A rock is inventive. Long ago, humans chiseled rocks into sharp-edged weapons and tools. Flaky flints and obsidian rocks were chipped into arrowheads, spear flints, axes, and hammers. Rough granite, sandstone, and lava rocks were shaped into mortars and pestles, used for grinding seeds, rice, nuts, chilies, and garlic into food. Today, humans use rocks to make cement and bricks, paper and pencils, glass and toothpaste. A rock is creative. Tens of thousands of years ago, before there was writing, ancient peoples told stories through symbols. With colors made from minerals, they painted pictographs on cave walls, rock shelters, and ledges. They chipped and pecked the surface of stones to make petroglyphs. A rock is recycled. Sedimentary rocks, like coal and limestone, have eroded over time into smaller pieces of sand, pebbles, and gravel. Then were pressed together like a layer cake with fossils, seashells, and decayed plants. Metamorphic rocks began as sedimentary or igneous, but were baked and squeezed so hard by heat and pressure, they became metamorphic rocks like slate and marble. Igneous rocks are formed by magma. When magma erupts through volcanoes, it cools and hardens into rocks like granite and pumice. Pumice is so lightweight, it floats. A rock doesn't hurry. Over thousands of millions of years, it changes from one form to another. This is called the rock cycle. In a process called erosion, a rock is squashed and scraped by glaciers, whirled by waves and rain, and pushed deep into the earth until it turns into magma. Then a rock is once again lively 